Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial video, I am going to be teaching you how to share the access to your Shopify store with another person. You might want to do this for an N number of reasons. You might have a web developer who wants to edit your site, or maybe you want your VA to add products to your site, or maybe you want a consultant to take a look at the site backend. Whatever the reason there is, using this method you can quickly and effectively share the access to your store to anybody that you want. The only requirement is that the other person should have an active email address. Also, this method is by far the safest way to share access as sharing your email address and your password with somebody can put you at the risk of losing your Shopify store permanently. So do not do that. Just use this method because this is actually the Shopify recommended method in order to share access with anybody. Okay, so now without wasting any time, let's get into the tutorial. But before that, if you don't know who I am, my name is Phil and I've been freelancing as a Shopify web developer for the past five years. I've worked with hundreds of business owners and helped them start their very own successful e-commerce stores from scratch with Shopify. So if you're looking for web design services or consultation regarding your store, then you can contact me on my Fiverr profile. Link will be available in the description. Also, if you're new to the channel, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Now, first thing that you need to do is, of course, get into the backend of your Shopify website. From here, the steps are relatively straightforward. First, you have to go into the bottom left hand section and click on settings. From inside of here, you will go into users and permissions. Now, you will be able to see that I am the store owner of this particular website. So what I can do is that I will be able to see the option to add staff inside of here. I can click on this button, add staff. And then I can put in a first name and a last name inside of here. So let me just add a first name, John Doe. And I can put in an email address here. Let me put in maybe a temp email address here. So for that, I will go to tempmail.com. And I'm going to be copying this particular email address. I'm going to be adding it here. Now, what you will be able to see is that you can select all different kinds of permissions in order to share with this particular user. Now, if I want this user to just have access to the home section, then I can provide this particular permission right here. And if I also wanted him to have access to the product section, then I can do like, I can add these permissions here. And uh, there are sub permissions inside of this particular section. So I can enable or disable whichever permission that I want this particular user to have. So depending on whatever user roles that your particular uh, staff is having, you can edit the permissions according to here. One thing that you have to be careful of while providing the permissions is to make sure that you only provide the permissions that are not sensitive to users. For example, if you're sharing the information on the orders and stuff that can be sensitive data. So you do not want that to be shown to every single person that is working on your website. So you can remove some of these stuff from here, especially orders and everything, uh, because that is sensitive information related to your website and you would not want to share that with, uh, uh, maybe a staff that is working on your site temporarily. So make sure that you do that. So all the permissions have been edited according to my convenience. So what I can do now is that I can go ahead and select the app permissions here. Also, you can select only the apps that are relevant with the user that you're adding currently. Uh, for example, if you're talking about a web designer, a web designer might want access to the PageFly page builder and judge me reviews, for example, and they do not need to know they, they do not need to have access to the Dessers app, for example, or the geolocation app. So you can just select the app permissions that you want. So I will just go ahead and select page fly and I'm going to be selecting judge me. Now what I can do is that I can simply click on send invite. Now what will end up happening is that the person that you sent out the staff invite to will end up receiving an email. And within that, they will be getting a button called the create staff account. They can click on that button and they can basically create a staff account. They will need a Shopify account in order to log into your store. So ask them to create that first of all. Once they have done that, they will be able to get access to your store and they will be able to edit the sections of the store that you have provided permission for. Now that was a quick tutorial on how to share the access to your Shopify store with your staff. If you like this video and if you think that you have learned something of value, then Consider subscribing to this channel and turning on your bell notifications. We put out helpful content like this on our channel on a daily basis. So make sure you do all that good stuff. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.